So we're now on to part 11 of my Epoch series and as you can see I've actually changed map again. So our Panther run as a whole it was a good one. We killed a lot of people, had a very nice base and a lot of people who I was playing with just wanted a different map to play on for a new experience. And this map although it is rather small, the name of the map is Namask and I definitely prefer it over Panthera. It's got a hospital on the Western Island, it's got blowouts, it's got of course snow, everyone loves snow and it's almost Christmas so it's good, it's in season. It's got an underground zone, as a whole it's a really interesting and different map to anything you've ever seen on Daisy before if you haven't played it. So trust me, it's going to be interesting for Epoch. And since it is so small, and of course base building is a big part of Epoch, not really sure how that's going to work out, but I guess we'll just see what happens. It's definitely going to have a lot of killing people, and of course, as usual, our first objective since I've just joined the server is to build a base. And building bases from a scratch is kind of fun. This is definitely going to be the last map which I'm going to be playing in this series, but like I said, it's a small map. It is really for recipe for chaos and a lot of fun. Right now, I'm just waiting for pickup from some guys who I met earlier. They are going to be bringing me to their base. They've been on a server for a bit longer than me since I've just joined today. They're going to give me a tour around it, and hopefully I should get some inspiration for a base of my own, and they should get me set up, at least for the time being. So we've finally arrived at our base, and we're just quickly parking the Ural inside, so we're going to have a tour. I'll let Leon do it, I'm not very good at driving. I could do it if you want, I'm a really good driver. I'm just kidding, I'm a terrible driver, don't trust me. But yeah, this base is, as you can see, based off a existing building. So I think it's definitely something I'm going to do on Namals. Of course, Panfera was massive. It was open. <laughs> this is a bit of a tight fit. Yeah, because it was so big, it was very easy to just want to build it in the middle of nowhere and you'd be safe to do that. But since this is so small, it's kind of hard to build a base without getting murdered. So building it in a house which already exists means less resources and a quicker setup time. Oh, shit. I thought you were happy with the location of a Ural already. Just having some small tactical difficulties, we'll just open up that door and I think it'll be cool. Oh! Oh! Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Where's it gone? I don't know, what the fuck? Oh shit, I'm sorry, oh I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. It was an accident. Oh, there he Yeah, yeah, it landed, it landed. These guys invite me to their base and uh, manage to destroy their property. Pretty bad, though. Yeah, can I have a two other base? Uh, if, if that's okay. I'm, I'm really sorry about that, man. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. So let's have a quick two other base. The inverters blew up their Ural and I guess we'll see how many entrance points this base actually has. And if I'm correct, it shouldn't have too many. So, you know, you just put down like three doorways and boom, your base is safe. Put some safes in it and it's yours really. So, let's see. It's got three entrances from what I see. Safe room here. Yeah, got a terminal pack, you've got a uh, wardrobe. Just watch when coming up here, you have to fall. Okay, so that's a bit of a dodgy design, okay. There we go. Yeah? Yeah. So you can see this place has got some foundations, you know, you just build on those. And I've got a little helipad up here. Is that heli out front yours, or is it someone else's? Yeah, yeah, this is ours. Okay, cool. Well, um... Okay, alright. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I was just uh, looking for some, some inspiration for all. Wait, what happened to this? Was this like this before as well, or did the Ural knock it over? Happened. I think the Ural knocked it over. I don't know. So I broke two of your vehicles. Probably. Yeah, yeah it did. When I was watching it, the um, chopper just flew over. Yeah. Clumsy bugger. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I'm, I'm bad luck, apparently. <laughs> yeah. I've got no idea how I managed to do that. I've never seen armor physics do that before. Where does this door bring you? Just outside? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought it was going to be some kind of like magical door. Okay. Yeah. The Narnia, maybe. Yeah. Well, no, that's the wardrobe. This wardrobe right here brings you to Narnia. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah, through this one. Yeah, or maybe this one over here. You've got quite a lot of wardrobes inside your house. Since I've now got the inspiration for a base, I mean, there's a lot of areas around the map like that, like right in front of me, Norinsk, that's where I'm heading to right now. And there's other villages, which you can very easily just put down some doors and boom, it's yours. I've left those guys and I'm hopefully going to hunt down some people, get me some currency, or if I'm lucky kill someone who's got some building parts for a house and start setting up my very own base. I just left that mountain behind me, got myself an SVD camo, a large gun bag, so I'm pretty much set for anyone. And since this map is so small, I wouldn't be surprised to come across a squad eventually. It's going to happen after a certain amount of time. I hope not right now though, since I am on my own. Once we've got a base up and running, we will have a bunch of people who we can go out with together for that reason. 
But right now, I'm going to go try to find some people in Norinsk. Oh, hello. So I was just climbing up that building quickly, and I think I'm going to kill this guy because, like I mentioned, this map's snowy, and because of that, temperature's kind of a big deal. I got him. And you can see, because it's so goddamn cold, I'm shaking. So, on this map, heat packs are all super important. You can't get clothing to make yourself a bit warmer. That guy had an M14 too, so it was lucky I spotted him before he spotted me. And this guy doesn't have any heat packs at all. That's a shame. He's got some MREs, which will help me out. And also an M14 in, which is, uh, nice. Oh, nah, I still got the, the situation of being cold as shit. DMR, holy shit, this guy had a lot of good stuff. So he's got even more emeries. He's got a DMR. An M60. I don't want to carry all this stuff because it's going to be so heavy. But love it is really good. I think I'm just going to keep the DMR and the M60, I guess, since that is a machine gun. Alright, so I've still got a cold situation, but I've now got a DMR and an MG. So not doing too bad. And the DMR is a bit better than SVD since it's got 20 in a mag. There's no zero like it used to do, but that's a good thing because a DMR zero is pretty ridiculous, let's be honest. But I should hopefully be able to find some kind of building in this city which I can at least work out whether I can build a base in it or not because this is a very popular city and it's definitely got a lot of buildings you can't go inside. I'm just hoping not too many people have took it over because the place I just came from, the army base up on that hill, there was actually a massive base up there already. So it looks like since the server's been up for a while, there's a few people who have got really, really big bases like that one. So it's kind of scary compared to our non-existent base. Let's have a look then. So, this place looks pretty clear, but I'm not really sure if it's like the best place ever to put a base in. Since people seem to drive through it all the time. But you can see if, uh, for example, put a door there, a door over there, and walled up this window. It would be a, a decent base area. Like, yeah, it isn't the best ever, and it is in the middle of a city, which would be very easy to just camp. But, I mean, at least you've got not many places where people could camp. Like, it's very different to our base on Panfera because there's so many hills to camp on, but since this will have two entrances, it's not too bad, I guess. And it's very easy to just get one door, two doors, and boom, you're set, so. I really think we should start building from an, a house which already exists, so it's just going to make things really hard. This house, for example, might be a better choice than that one. This one's got some more cover over here, so we could put, like, some safes in this corner or something like that. And it's got another window there. But we could put a door there, a door there, and yeah. Actually, this thing's got another window, so it's got two windows here. Which is kind of shitty, but, I mean, you can see there's quite a lot of places we could put a base in. And it doesn't look like anyone here has actually got a base already. So that's probably good if we set up our base first. And if anyone's wondering about A2 on Namask, which is this area right here. It's actually underground, if you didn't know already. You're not allowed to build bases under there whatsoever. So it's not like someone's going to be able to just wall off that place and make it their own. It's always open for the public to come in and murder each other. So I'm looking forward to, once we've got a base up and running... Going for an explore down there, since it is pretty chaotic on normal servers, but on Epoch, it's probably going to be even crazier. There's a lot of military loot underground, so people have got a good reason to go over there. All I really want right now, though, is a heat pack, so I can actually go around without shaking. Desert Sniper? Like, do I really want that? I guess it's better than what I've got already, but, like, eh, yeah, it actually doesn't look too deserty. That's good. Still no heat packs for some tin cans and a salt pack. And with this on as well, you can't see my backpack, so I guess it's okay. That's why I love Namals too. The ambient sounds. You can hear children crying. And that sound I just heard, actually, that's not a good sound at all. I think there might be a blast out on the way. And the thing is, I don't have an, uh, an APSI, I think it's called. Um, and you need one of those, otherwise when the blast out comes, bloodsuckers will come eat me. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that, but... I've never heard the sounds on a normal Namas server in a long time because most servers have got it turned off, but this server does not, so I'm scared. Oh shit. Is that a car? It's a car. Okay. So I've got myself a car. So there is actually a objective up right now to get a load of building supplies just over here. So I think I'm going to attempt to do that. If I do it successfully, then we've got pretty much everything we need to get our base up and running. I just killed another guy, so I stole his Humvee, and he also actually had some heat packs, so now I'm no longer shaking all over, and I just need to cross over here towards the objective, and I think that might actually be in our base right there. This objective has been up for a long time, but I'm just hoping I should be able to get some scraps. It is just right there on my map, so it's right in front of me, so it shouldn't take too long in this car. And speaking of bases as well, I did actually find another massive base while I was on my way here, so I don't really have too much time on this server until eventually everyone's still all the good bases, so the earlier I get it up, the better, really. Oh! 
Um, I, th I think I'm, I should be scared. Oh! Oh yeah, that's, that's the thing that I thought was going to happen. I'm not sure if being in the car will make me safe. But there's going to be a blowout and it's, uh, it's not good. Okay, just stay still. Well, not stay still, I'm actually moving, but... Shit, there's a person right there as well. Oh, wait, wait. oh apparently does make... Uh. Oh, shit. Uh, I can't move. I just hit a shotgun shot and I'm very low blood. So things could have gone worse, I think. That guy beside me is not dead. Okay, I'm awake. Right, I've got a friend with me inside the car. All right, one second, Yoda. Just, just get out. I'll give you a weapon. So that was interesting. So what I've learned is we need an APSI. Otherwise, I'm going to get destroyed when that happens. So that's that's wonderful. And I mean, there is the hospital, which I was talking about before, right beside us. So we could visit that. But that's where I heard the gunshots from a second ago. So it's kind of scary. All right, you want to take a, an MG out of my backpack, okay? I'm shaking as well. Alright, we're going to go for the objective then. Just load up the car. Yeah. I mean, do you want to go to the hospital first for some blood bags? What do you think? Yeah, oh, we did hear the shots from there. Yeah, yeah, no, that's why I'm scared of going. So I've just checked both the hospitals and there's nothing there at all. I'm guessing since this is the only medical place on the map, everyone seems to love it. I guess you can buy them from traders, but we don't have any money because we've just joined the server, so... But for now, we're kind of boned. Hopefully we'll kill someone eventually who's got some blood bags, but that kind of sucks since we're both on low blood now. It turns out we spent so much time in the hospital that the objective kind of expired. It's about half an hour till there's a new one, so we'll just wait for a while, I guess. Zombies to the right on the coastline, by the way. There's some more to our left. There's... Oh, there he is. Yeah, I just wonder why the hell there were zombies there. Let's kill this guy quickly then. Headshoot. Don't worry, guys. I killed him. <laughs> Why is the zombie swimming? That's a base over there as well. It's a very, a very concrete base. Yeah, I know. Nope. All the MGs. This guy's got a P In fact, yeah, I've got a weapon. He's got a PDW, so go take his shit. We need a, an APS either, or when the next blast comes over, we're dead. So, yeah, just give our shit quick. Uh, I can confirm from being in the vehicle when it happens that it actually does the same shit, so. Oh shit! Uh, Mega, what is okay? See him in the trees. Um... Whereabouts? He's alive. Where is he? Oh, yeah, I, see the, I see the guy. Oh, I see the zombie aggro at least. I don't see the guy, but I see I seen the zombie. I know. It was just VSS, I think, so it's okay. Alright, Mega, he's still alive. Why are we all low blood now? He's moving, he's moving. He's moving uh, up the hill, up the hill. Typical luck moves as soon as I shoot. I'm not sure if he's gonna run. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to run. He's got he's got a fucking lapua, I think. He's he's going like in a really good position away from us. Just kill the zombies. I think he's changed to a lapua though, so yeah, that's not good. Uh wh when's Mega War you gonna wake up? Because we've got a bit of a situation here. He's guy almost at three quarters. Must be a guy behind us as well with zombie aggro. Yeah, there's a guy with a hatchet. A hatchet? Ugh, just ignore him. See if he see if he comes close to us, just ignore him. There's a guy with Lapua is, is on the hill though, so watch the fuck out. Ah, Michael, will you please wake up? Move away, guy for hatchet. Move away. Move away with your hatchet. Uh, who are you? Who is We're in a bit of a shit situation. Who? Wait, it's King and Leon. King and Leon. I, I don't know who that is. Who? You know, what, did I meet you yesterday? Me, last day. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. Left. Oh, kill the zombie, kill the zombie. Watch out, there's a guy on the hill. Sorry, I'm not very good right, with names. He's he's yeah, it's up. my friend, it's my friend, it's my friend. The guy on the hill's he's your friend? Oh, it's Stuart Shunos, okay. <laughs> the guy gave me a tour yesterday around the base. Yeah, are, are you sure it's your friend? Because there's the second guy shooting with a DMR. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's morphine. Okay. That's the problem, Mega. The hospital's kind of been ransacked, so there's no morphine. I'm really sorry, man. 
Okay. Uh, uh, Stuart <laughs> will not shoot. Oh, he broke the fucking wheel, man. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, that's Yeah, but we didn't know it was. I, I know, I know. We didn't notice you either. It's cool. 